everybody and welcome back to Micah's Toy Time. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Marvel Spider-Man Final Battle Set. Comes with 900 pieces um, and it's set number 76261 and it comes with the Tom Holland Spider-Man and the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man which is Tobey Maguire and the Amazing Spider-Man which is Andrew Garfield and also Doctor Strange, MJ, Ned, Green Goblin, Electro, and Dr. Octopus. As we can see, this is from really like the final battle of um, Spider-Man No Way Home where they're battling on the Statue of Liberty. And on the side, it like shows the three Spider-Man. And then if we go over to the back, just goes over a little bit more detail on the set, some of the play features, like opening this part up and sliding this part down. And we can see like a diorama of all of it. So, now we're gonna open up the box and see what's inside. Comes with the instructions and the stickers. We got, um, bag seven, bag four, bag two, got bag three, Bag six, bag number one, and last but not least, bag number five. So, let's get to building. Okay, this is the instruction book. Um, just to look at like some of like the pages, so that's cool. And we also got the sticker sheet, which I'm glad they didn't include as much stickers because you know how much I hate stickers. Okay, so this is a complete overview of the build without like looking at the minifigure, so I'll just like spit it around really quickly. And then we're gonna look at the head and then the scaffolding. It's like I like how the details with the scaffolding, like how some of it's like not completely complete. Cause like they were working on like adding like a Captain America shield in the movie. So that's a pretty cool, like nice reference showing how it's not like completely like done. Like all the sand everywhere from Sandman, even though for some reason they didn't include him. But that's basically um, everything on the overview, and now we're going to look at the head. Okay, so this is the head without any of the scaffolding. And we can see that it's got like a nice face, but um, something funny about like with the, the eyes is that they're like just like a re like print color of like a, the Lego hot dog piece. So that's pretty funny how they use that. And like, I like um, the stickers. Stickers are a nice touch everywhere. And um, I like how, like the way that they did like the chin and the nose and the mouth. I think that's like really cool. Lego did a good job on making that. And then we have like the, the huge like crown piece of it. Uh, and like, like how it all like sticks out, that's kind of cool. Then if we look at the side, just a side view of the sticker and like some like that makes it kind of like more like 3D, I guess. And then on the back we got. I'm not entirely sure what these things are. I don't know if that's just exclusive to the movie or in real life, but one thing that's cool about this is we can take this out and we can see it. Doctor Strange portal in there that leads to Doctor Strange's house. So that's like how he can get to where this place is in the movie, I guess. Which is a nice little detail because I actually have that Lego set in there. And then one thing that um, you can actually take up the top of this. And then we can see that there's like a little Sandman hand or Sandman hand. Cause this is where like they cured him to become like a person in the movie, which is kind of interesting. Cause they only had like one cure for like everyone. It would have been cool if they included like more to fit more, or be more realistic to it. And I wish that there was Sandman in there so you can recreate the scene of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man and Sandman fighting in there. But that's it's okay. And another thing I would like to point out is that this is how the 
the clear piece so you can put like the minifigures on. It sticks into this little piece and on the back of it, which is cool. I like the, the new things that they're using for like to show like people like flying in the Lego sets. That's pretty cool. So that's about everything with the head. I'll just spin it around one more time. Get all the nice little details on it. And now we're gonna go over to the scaffolding part of the build. And we'll cut to that now. Okay, so here's what the, the scaffolding looks like without like the Statue of Liberty in the middle. First thing we can see is that this is like the clear piece that they use to replicate like many figures like falling or flying. This is where like MJ falls. And um, the thing that I wish that they added was like a play feature where this thing could like maybe like fall down a little to recreate the scene of like MJ like falling. And then for Toby or er, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man to save her, that would have been cool. We see a little generator here. I'm not entirely sure what that's for. It could just be like for powering on like lights here for the construction. We can see there's like a little like hole in that. So that would probably be another way where you can you can stick this uh, the clear piece in there if you wanted like a different posability. And going over the side a little, um, we got a big web which is kind of cool because usually they use like plastic, but this it's like kind of like stretchy, which is cool. Like it's more like plastic than like the hard plastic that Lego typically uses, like flimsible flimsy plastic and we have like um an antidote for what or cures to get rid of one of the villain's powers from the movie and then we just got another piece of scaffolding and i like how they included everything where it's like looks like it's like not fully built because it isn't and then we got a little hammer right there keep rotating it a little bit um you can see this is the tallest piece of scaffolding because we got the Doctor Strange portal in there where Doctor Strange comes from. And then if we just turn over here, we got um, another generator with the clear piece for Green Goblin's glider. And then we have um, a web with like a camera on it. I'm assuming referencing how when Spider-Man had a job at the Daily Bugle and he would take pictures of himself fighting bad guys for the Daily Bugle for his job. And so we can also see there's like tons of like sand everywhere like in the middle from Sandman and like the construction of everything and there's like different spots where you can like put minifigures which is cool lots of like kind of like more like playset vibes even though there's not any like play features here but that's basically everything for the the scaffolding now we're gonna head on to my final thoughts. Okay, it is shout out time and I wanna shout out my friends, Peter, Grayson, and Evan, and the rest of the kids in my science class, and especially the best science teacher in the world, Mr. Saruko. And as we're filming this, like the day, um, the day after Veterans Day, I wanna say thank you for our service, Mr. Saruko, cause I'm pretty sure you, you mentioned you were in the Air Force. Okay. So here's what the complete Lego set looks like, completely put together with all the minifigures on it. Just give it a little spin. I like, um, the, my favorite part of the Lego set was probably all the minifigures, getting all three Spider-Man and most of the villains. Um, I'll go over like the positives and then the negatives. So it was like a fun build to do. Like, I like the design of it, like, the scaffolding and everything, and the minifigures and, like, the builds for, like, all of them. That was amazing. Um, my few critiques on it is that, um, with, like, some of these, like, they could use a little bit more, like, printing on, like, the legs. And I wish that they came with Sandman and, um, the Lizard. That would have been nice if they came with those two other minifigures. Instead of giving us Ned and um, MJ, I feel like if they included those two, they could have included the Lizard and Sandman. Even though, because it's kind of weird because they got lots of references to Sandman in the set. But besides that, it was a fun build. And another thing I want to mention is that um, the 10 plus rating, I don't know. Um, it, it was kind of difficult, so I don't know if maybe like younger kids would be able to build it really good because I was on a part where I had to 
completely like redo the head at one point because I like made a mistake. So I wonder if maybe they should have done like 12 or 13 maybe. And um, it was a pretty good price considering all the minifigures it comes with. I think it was like around a hundred dollars with almost with 900 pieces. So it was a really great um, build and minifigures. I really recommend it, especially if you don't have the the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man because like he was super rare. Like he hasn't been around for like 20 years basically, which is um, this one right here. Um, because um, they just made like a few Lego sets of the movies of him and then he like sells for like hundreds of dollars now and the Andrew Garfield one that was like a Comic-Con exclusive minifigure and now it's like I don't know it could be like thousands now so it's nice getting these because I don't have them and the minifigures are amazing so that's all I have to say and thank you guys for watching and make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!